response that we, I suppose, we, we thought was in O'Mahony's, given what we know of them in the last two years, Stefan. They've got three scores in a row. You just wonder this urgency, how they couldn't have uh, displayed it a little bit earlier, but with their backs to the wall, they've come to within a score, and St Mary's now, questions been asked. Yeah. Questions been asked now, the Mary's, because of, you know, the uh, O'Mahony's got the last three. Here is uh, Conor Martin sending it on now as far as Stephen Kilcoyne. New Lisa live here about a man he's the moment. Still Stephen Kilcoyne trying to take it on the ground. Oh, and it just ran past Conor Martin, but he might get a second bite of the cherry. No, he doesn't. Niall Eccles now intercepting. Here's Paulie Clark acting as an extra defender here in the closing few minutes. That ball is sent down towards Mark Fay, the goal scorer. That goal seems like a long time ago now. It takes a deflection off in a man's hand. It's going to be a line ball for St Mary's, which Darren Clark is taking. And now a bit of after it's going on. Uh, two players and a bit of a... Yes, uh, Mark Fay could be in trouble there. He showed... Uh, he showed the fist and uh, there's an Amani's player down injured it was six of one and half a dozen of the other but uh, Mark Fane uh, running away from the situation but the Amani's player has gone to ground and that just happening in front of the St Mary's uh, uh, bench here in front of us in the stand and uh, Stephen Johnson now so this is going to just uh, break up playing this uh, slow things down there at the moment 26 and a half minutes gone but Ronan Bourne's point arriving after 26 minutes of play a towards successive point that and so now uh, it was Conor Finnegan, the man that was uh, the man there that was involved in that. But he's up on his feet, and now there is going to be a player. Mark Fay is going to be called over, I think, as a result of all that. And uh, uh, there's going to be a sub coming on as well for a man. He's in the midst of all this, and the man that's coming in it's on number 20, and that is Barry Mackin. Barry Mackin about to be brought on to the action here for the last few minutes for O'Mahony's And now Conor Finnegan has been spoken to by the referee, and I think Mark Fay will have to be spoken to and po possibly shown a card as well. And uh, that was after that incident just on the sideline as Darren Clark was ready to take the sideline ball. So let's see with the colour, if there is car if there, uh, is cards to be uh, taken. Darren Clark as well, also been spoken to, so it might well be three yellows all round here. And that change being made. And Stephen Kilcoyne. Yeah, Stephen Gilcoyne is the man that's... Uh, yeah, yellows all round, three yellows. Stephen Gilcoyne, the man to uh, come off, uh, Stephen... Um, Yes, yeah, Stephen Kilcoyne is off and Barry Mackin is the man that is into the action now for the last few minutes and now we are ready to resume play and the referee has taken the free off St Mary's and he's going to hop it now between Robbie Levy and Conor Martin. Possession vitally important from this throw in. The clock is ticking down. 20, almost 28 minutes gone in the second half. And another change another change coming on the Mary's team. Darren McConnell is coming off and Shane McCoy is into the action. Wearing 18, Shane McCoy. So back-to-back -back changes there by both teams as we get ready now finally for this ball to be hopped by referee Stephen Johnson. A reminder of the scoreline, one point between the teams, St Mary's 1-9, the Shona Manny's 11 points, the ball thrown up, Conor Martin trying to get a flick on it, and the break is won by Mark Fay, the referee blows his whistle, and a bit of a, it was a pulling incident there, the referee signals there's going to be a free in for the Shona Manny's, and Conor Finnegan now, Conor Finnegan perhaps sensing that there is an equaliser, there is an equaliser in, uh, in this game for his team, he goes long with it, it's going to fall short, the big man Conor Crawley get, trying to get a fist on this one, oh and he's he fisted it, Oh, and it's the thing. Oh, both the cross for back in the net. It's a goal for Manny's. Who's got the final touch, I wonder? Is it Big Crawley? It came back off the crossbar, but it's ended up in the back of the net with a flick. It might have been Big Connor Crawley. It might have been David Dowling. I'm not too sure who's got the goal. But the most important thing is that it is a goal for the shoulder Manny's. Oh, what drama here in the last uh, minute and a half of normal time. Oh, Manny's now coming in the attack again. We're not sure. We'll have to check on who uh, eventually got that final touch. But the ball was uh, knocked on. It came off the crossbar. And there's a player following up. And the goal arriving after 29 minutes of play. And here come the Omanis now once again. Here's Stephen Fisher. A wild kick going in there by Fisher. Connor Crawley there gets a slight touch on it. He might just get the uh, the ball that's breaking. No, he doesn't. Connor Keen, uh, Keenan has it. So it is one goal and nine out to one goal and 11. And St Mary's now are under the cosh here. At one stage, it looked as if with a four-point lead for themselves, they had perhaps done enough to see off this O'Mahony's team. But right off O'Mahony's at your barrel. But here comes St Mary's. Is there a response in them? They trail by two. 111 to 19, 29 and a half minutes gone of normal time. Here's Paulie Clark now on the O'Mahony's 45 metre line. Another point uh, would certainly set up a grandstand finish. Uh, Mark Finn is sending it down towards Darren Clark. Darren Clark running into a challenge from Ronan Bourne, and it's going to be a free in, a free in for the St Mary's. Now, what are they going to do here? There will be a few minutes to be added. There'll be four minutes to be added. Four minutes, plenty of time, plenty of time yep. Stefan. Plenty, plenty of time. time. Uh, plenty we don't, time, we yeah. still don't know who got the final touch on it. We're just trying to find out. Uh, on, on the goal, but, uh, well, uh, David Dowling and Conor Crawley were certainly close to it. One of them, I think, one, either or the other got uh, a touch on it to the back of the net. Now, 
now Darren Clark is he going to go for the score he's going to go for the short one he finds John Bingham John Bingham now swings this one in and swings it left and wide from John Bingham oh John Bingham oh he should have made sure of that one and there was no one around him he really should have sent that one over and it doesn't go over and it stays a two-point game one eleven to one nine but if a man he's win this game it will count as one of their greatest ever reco recoveries they weren't playing particularly well when the goal went in from Mark Fay 40 minutes into the second half and then the two scores followed it looked Pat O'Brien the intermediate cha uh, championship captain of two years ago is about to come into the fray here that'll waste up another few valuable seconds for O'Mahony's and Conor Finnegan now and all these O'Mahony's players are standing up tall now when the chips were down they're never a beaten team here they come on the attack again here is Conor uh, Martin Conor Martin just tried to flick it on finding Conor Finnegan into the path there of Niall McLaughlin but that uh, runs away from him and St Mary's might still have another chance the ball now breaking as far as Robbie Levy Robbie Levy brought to ground and trying to get the to, trying to get to take the free quickly and he takes it as far as Paulie Clark Paulie Clark now inside the Omani's half of the field one last chance perhaps we have 31 minutes and 21 seconds uh, gone in this second half now it's with Dean Matthews hasn't seen much of it in the second half Dean Matthews finding John Bingham now John Bingham now short pass into Darren Clark Darren Clark looking to make the angle for himself shoots players in and around him good defending by Omani's great defending and they've managed to get possession back oh that's tenacious defending there they've done extremely well now it's Barry Mackin the substitute fighting Ronan Bourne Ronan Bourne sending it long Ronan Bourne there his point a little bit earlier on was absolutely crucial as well of course Ronan Bourne the ball now here's David Downing the substitute he's got to play on the overlap flicks it inside could be a goal chance on here no it's uh, Niall Carroll there picking up that loose pass good challenge by the uh, Mary's defence a yeah. couple of players feeling the effects of that one but it was a, a chance of a goal there the whistle's going up here the stopwatch says we have 32 minutes gone we have a minute a minute or two minutes I should say still to play here of injury time one last chance oh and uh, two bounces two hops again and uh, it's going to be a free out the man that was running forward was Niall Eccles he's conceded the free referee tells him it's going to have to be taken again change coming on the RD team Ronan, uh, Robbie Levy is coming off the man that's coming on is RJ Callaghan RJ Callaghan is into the action one of the uh, very experienced players in this Mary's uh, team he's in for the last couple of moments is there still one last chance here for St Mary's to rescue this game it'll have to be a goal to win it because uh, points are no good to them they trail by those two 111 to 19 with 33 minutes almost gone in the second half that change just being made now at the moment the short pass uh, getting it back Connor Finnegan Connor Finnegan to John O'Brien John O'Brien decides to uh, play it over towards that far side of the uh, field and O'Mahony's now just keeping ball at the moment John O'Brien player on the overlap now in towards uh, the midfielder Shane Brennan the team captain at the moment this moment in time he looks like the man that's going to be become the first John O'Mahony's captain in history to lift the Joe Ward Cup that ball paid into the path of Conor Martin he lets it run over on that far side of the uh, field the man there looks like Ben McLaughlin is the man that's uh, underneath it over in that uh, corner and uh, Mary's trying to wrestle possession back Conor Martin also in there a few man his players getting around that ball St Mary's trying their best to get it away and now Niall Eccles is in there the team captain here's Darren looks like Darren Cla uh, the substitute in fact now has it that is Shane McCoy Shane McCoy getting it across here's Niall Carroll another of the substitutes two players now one calling for this ball the man who collects it is the goal scorer Mark Fay Mark Fay now one last chance perhaps the Mary's have to hold on to it and they have to play it up as quickly as possible we're inside the last uh, 15 seconds of injury time the ball now still in, uh, with St Mary's Paulie Clark has it Paulie Clark player on the overlap still the St Mary's have it now can they walk it into a scoring position the man who has it is John Bingham John Bingham a lofty one in this is danger oh man he's have to be underneath this one collected brilliantly by, uh, by Paulie Clark and Darren Clark in fact and Darren Clark is brought to ground tries to take the quick one Darren Clark the referee's not having any of it though and the referee blows his whistle and uh, this could be a last last uh, ditch uh, attempt here by the Marys to win this game they simply have to go for goal I think we have 30 we are over the four minutes now at this stage and the Omanis nearly the entire team are back on the goal line here there are about uh, one two three four seven players in including the goalkeeper on this line Darren Clark has to go for goal no a point is of no relevance and no significance at this late stage of the game this I think is the last opportunity and it's great uh, walk short here's Paddy Clark he goes for he gets the point Paddy Clark but surely that is it no, free out column uh, it was too tight too oh, close too close and the referee has blown it so it's not a score and it's a free out for the Sean O'Mahony's and surely now with 35 minutes played that is as much as uh, St Mary's can offer 
uh, the referee is going to award the free out to the Sean Amani's. Yes, it's taken quickly. Connor Martin is the man who has it on the... Yes, and there it is! Sean Amani's, our Lord Senior Football Champions for 2016. And now for the first time in all the championship finals they've contested, they have done it the hard way. Four points down with 12 minutes of normal time to go. They've pulled it back. A goal and three points without reply. Nothing St Mary's could do about it in the end. Mary's, you'd have to say, probably capitulating a bit uh, when they got the lead for themselves. They couldn't hold it, but all credit to the Sean Amani's. What a tremendous fight back. Sundays of county finals and both me and loud right I never ever thought that I see my club the Wee O'Mahony's in a county final and winning it it's just unreal and you see these bunch of fellas they're absolutely brilliant and this lad is great kind of feeling him what can you say uh, to be honest David it's not even fucking uh, the best you have to go in just to see the scenes here on the pitch people on the pitch and in the stand and what it means to everyone like we're only 15 or 20 players, but it's really the whole community. You can hear them in the background the singing. It's, uh, it's an absolutely unbelievable feeling. Never thought I'd see the day, you know. But now we're here. We've done it, and I just really can't describe how it feels. To be honest, you know. absolutely brilliant. We club like the Mackenzies. What do you think? Yeah, well, never in a while this dream is going to be. We ever think this is going to happen, you know? Uh, two years ago, 2014, you know we were, you know. We're, we were struggling more or less in intermediate. We got across a couple of games, we dug deep, and it's just been an absolute roller coaster ride since then. Where did the goal come from? I've no idea, you know, like when you have a man six foot six standing in on the square, it'd be a shame not to let a few into him. So, you know, we, we fluffed a few of them before that, but eventually the perfect ball went in and you know once it's in there, you have every chance. Enjoy tonight. We will. Good we lad. will. All right, Colin, with that back to you. Nothing inside me, Kerry, no. <laughs> And we, which has once been one of the most open senior championships for years. And we show our appreciation to both sets of players. <laughs> Commiserations to Harry St Mary's. It's always disappointing to lose the county final. But you're doing great work up there in RD. You put on a great effort today, result was always in doubt up until the final whistle. And I have no doubt that you'll be back here again in the future on County Final Day. <laughs> However, for the first time in your history, the show world is heading back to the point road. Yeah!
and he was our first honorary president. He also was a selector with Lloyd when they won the first All Ireland in 1910. First presented in 1949. Today, history has been made. Shane Brennan picking it up to show the Manis for the very first time. Well done, Shane. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 